In this ROS2 TF2 tutorial, I will go over the TF2 packages that can be used to monitor the coordinate frame transform of your robot. We will start off by installing the required packages, run a turtle following TF2 demo, view the frames using the TF2 tools, and finally view the frames using Arvis. So if you need some Python references, I have things on classes, inheritance, and if name is main, so go check it out. So first off, you want to install your package. So to install that, you want to run the sudo apt get install ross humble rvis2 and ross humble turtle tf2py and these other packages. So you have the tf2 ross, the tf2 tools, and then the humble turtle sim if you don't have that already. So to run the tf2 demo, we're going to go ahead and run this launch file here. So ROS2 launch, launch turtle tf2py, turtle tf2 demo launch.py. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and run this in our terminal. So this will let the two turtles spawn, as we can see here. And we see one is um, moving. So in the other terminal, we could run the teleop. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this command and run the teleop. So if I move the screen, you could see that the turtle will start moving when I press the keys here. We're just going to slide this over so you can see. But you can see as I move, the turtle in the bottom will start following the red one on the top. So now that we have the turtles following, we could view the frames using the TF2 tools. So to see the TF2 tools, there's different things we can do. So uh, one thing you could do is we could generate the frames using the TF2 tools here, using view frames. So if we go ahead and run the ROS2 run TF2 tools view frames command, we can generate the frames in the PDF file. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, and the PDF file will show us the different frames and how they're connected, as well as the different time information. So if I go ahead and open this, you're going to see that um, this shows us the world frame, the turtle 2, turtle 1, and you have a record at a certain time. You have the broadcaster, average rate, buffer length, most recent transform, and oldest transform timestamps. So if you notice the timestamp, this is in Unix uh, epoch format, so um, that's the format that it uses. And this will give us information, especially when it gets more complicated, we'll see how the different frames are connected. So another way is to view the frames printed out in the terminal. So for that, this will print out the translation, rotation, and transformation matrix. So if I go ahead and run this, it's going to take the source frame and target frame. So the source frame is turtle 2, the target frame is turtle 1. So if I go ahead and run this, you're going to see that you're going to see the matrix uh, print out here. So this could be useful if you're debugging or things of that sort. So finally, we could view the frames using Arvis. So to view the frames in Arvis, we could go ahead and copy this command. So this command right here is going to be ROS2 run Arvis2, Arvis2, and then dash D, these arguments, ROS2 package prefix, share turtle um, tf2 pi, and then Arvis, the turtle Arvis Arvis. So if I go ahead and run this, it's going to start up Arvis for us. So I'm going to move this Arvis window here to the center. And you can see this is my turtle here. So if I slide this over, and um, just so you can see me moving it, as well as the turtle moving at the same time, I'm going to use a teleop window. And you can see as I control the turtles, the frames will move accordingly. So this could be pretty useful for just focusing on the frames alone. And it's a good way to visually check instead of focusing on the numbers if you were to print it out. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make a TF2 static broadcaster in Python. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.